Hello, my name is David Boyles and I'm a technical evangelist at Microsoft and today I'm going to show you how to very quickly spin up a WordPress site on Azure using something called Project Nami. Now WordPress is a very, very nice blogging platform that allows you to quickly and easily create uh, uh, posts and content to kind of share with the world. One of the key advantages of it is that um, well, it powers about 25% of the internet, but even better, a lot of the features and add-ons that you can get for it for free, such as these icons or um, Twitch integration, recent posts, um, built-in tweets, things like that um, are very simply added by extensions. So that's a very large reason why I end up using WordPress. Um, even better, you can get it for free. Now, you can do it through the WordPress site, or if you have a BizSpark account, that's Microsoft's initiative for students and startups, um, you can have free cloud hosting through Azure. If you don't have this, feel free to reach out to me, uh, go to my website or my Twitter, both of which are Dave Voiles. I'd be more than glad to get you situated. So now we understand the, the purpose of WordPress and why it's used. Um, there are several ways that we can go about acquiring this. So the first, you can go to the WordPress site and get hosted by them, again, completely free. But there are some pitfalls, the first of which is you can't run JavaScript, largely because um, there can be some malicious code within JavaScript and WordPress just doesn't want to deal with that on their servers. Without JavaScript though, you can't have all these wonderful extensions you see on the side here. Um, so because of that, uh, it's not nearly as valuable as the platform could be. So in that regard, I'd encourage you to take a look at hosting it through Azure. Now the traditional route would be just spinning up a WordPress instance. We actually have a button for it. Um, which will then create a MySQL database. And this database is where all of your information is stored. That's the text for your blog posts, your comments, your images, things of that nature. So uh, since Microsoft does not provide um, MySQL databases out of the box, we use a third party provider called ClearDB, who's worked fantastic and I've been using them for several years. However, once your database grows larger than 20 megabytes, you have to start paying a fee for it. Understandably so, you're hosting on their platform. This is not included with your BizSpark account, so uh, you'll see that soon you may have to end up paying 10 plus dollars a month to host your website. But with Project Nami, what this allows you to do is use a SQL database, which you can use your BizSpark credits for and thereby negating the fee. So I started doing this and migrating some of my old, uh, own websites this way. So let's take a look. So I can just find the Project NAMI by uh, going to Google, type in Project N-A-M-I. It'll bring me to this page. So again, it's WordPress, but for SQL Azure. I can go over here to the right-hand side, click Download. I'm not actually gonna download anything to my PC. Instead, I'm gonna hit this Deploy to Azure button. Now what this will do is it'll log me into my Azure account. I've already done that. You see on the left-hand side here in another tab, I'm already into my BizSpark Azure account. So uh, if you're not logged in, it's going to ask you to log in and perhaps ask for your um, credentials. So again, if you don't have BizSpark um, and you don't want to foot the bill for hosting your own website, feel free to reach out to me. So first thing, it looks like there's several um, properties for us to fill out here. Some of this we can ignore. I'm going to cover the key points for you. The first is the directory. Um, you're just going to leave this to whatever your default is. I have multiple directories, so you're not going to have this issue. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Resource group. This is the container that will house all parts of your application. So my WordPress site is going to consist of two parts. The first is the web server, where a lot of the code is going to live. And the other part is the database, where again, the contents of my actual website will live. The text, the images, the comments on my posts. So what happens with the resource group is, if I go to delete one part, say the database, the resource group is going to notify me and say, wait a minute, if you delete this database, you should also delete this website because they have a dependency on one another. So really the big main point for me, at least for the resource group is to notify me that I don't make mistakes, shoot myself in the foot and take out part of my website. So I'm gonna create a new resource group. I'm gonna call this Proj Nami Demo Site Name. I'm gonna call this Proj Nami, whoops, P-R-O-J, Nami Demo DV, okay? Now my SKU, these are different um, ways that your website can be hosted on Azure. Free, you have, uh, we'll say a limited number of ways to scale your website, both up, that is to create it larger or create a, a larger virtual machine to host your website, which will thereby give you more performance. 
that could be things like increased cores, more memory, um, and then shared. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the details for these, but for the most part, you're probably going to want to stick with basic or perhaps standard as you start to get larger. You can look for these details on your own. I'm not going to bore you with it. I'm going to just click on basic for now. You see worker size also appeared there. Leave it at small for right now. That's fine. So now SQL Server data name. Okay, so what is the name of the database that we're going to be storing this in? For right now, I'm going to call it Project Nami, and I'll say demo dv as well. It's going to need a password, so I've got to come up with a solid password. Um, and then I'm going to need a administrator login. So how am I going to access this database if I had to get to it on my own? Well, I'm going to use this name, Dave Voiles, and the password I just entered. And then finally, SQL collation, leave it at the default value. So right now this is going to tell me, hey, I'm going to create these for you. I'm going to create that database that you needed to store the content, and I'm also going to create a web server to serve this content. I'll hit deploy. It's going to take a few moments. Uh, it takes about a minute typically, but it's going to build out all of these things for me. Uh, it's going to start to deploy, and really what's happening behind the scenes is there's a script running that's going to um, stand up or instantiate all of these services on Azure for me. Now you could do this yourself. You can use um, something like PowerShell or the um, cross-platform command line tools, whether you're on Linux or Mac to build all of this. But in this case, I'm using Project Nami, fantastic tool. Um, as someone who's used WordPress for many, many years, um, I just didn't have a need to continue to pay for someone else to host my database if I can get it for free over here through the BizSpark program. So quickly spun up several things right there. I'm actually gonna zoom in a bit so you can get a better view of what's happening. Um, so we have created the website, web hosting plan, SQL server, updating the website. And when this is all done, I'm actually going to go in and start this WordPress site up and kind of walk you through the brief process of doing it. Uh, there might be some parts where you may stumble on, but um, once we get this up and running, I think you'll be really, really satisfied with what um, WordPress has to offer here. So we got our database good, setting up source control. And again, you can make changes to your website at any point. Um, I mean, you could even host this stuff on something like GitHub and have your Azure website look at your GitHub account and pull up all your code changes from there. That's what I do pretty often, too. So as soon as this is done, we'll come back. Okay, now that we're back, we've got all of our um, websites spun up, ready to go, and I can manage my site by going over here to Project Nami. So I'm going to click on this, and it's going to show my brand new WordPress site. Now, it's not going to be ready to go just yet. I've actually got to log in first to WordPress, set up my credentials there, and then the site will be available for anyone to go to. Now, you notice I also have um, my URL over here. So it's the uh, Proj Nami Demo DV websites, and, uh, or dot .azurewebsites.net. Now, Azure adds that to every website by default. So what happens is you can go to a domain provider, a, a, um, a service such as Namecheap.com or GoDaddy, and you can buy a domain main name there and then map it to your actual website. And that's exactly what I do. So when you go to DaveVoils.com, you're not actually going to DaveVoils.com. You're um, going to that address, but it's actually pointing you back to DaveVoils.AzureWebsites.net. You just never see that behind the hood. So got my WordPress site uh, ready to go. Now I get to my installation part. This is the language that you're going to use to, to navigate through your site. Obviously, I'm going to stick with English. Click on continue. And it's going to say, okay, I need some information about the database. Database name, username, password, host. A lot of the stuff is already set up for us from the previous um, part. So database name, we've already done this. Username, um, uh, your MS SQL username. Note, if using SQL Azure username, is of the form user. Okay, so leave that alone. That's the username we've already set. Um, password, we've set that before. And then our database, yes, that's fine. Let's go to submit. So table prefix, by the way, you're not gonna wanna change this. So the default settings we've already set um, earlier. So looks like it made it through the part installation. It can now communicate with our database. So now I've mapped our database to our actual website. Let's run the install. Okay, I'm going to need a site name. We're just going to call this um, Project Nami Demo. Uh, my username, I'm going to say Dave Voiles. That's perfect. Password, um, yeah, leave that for now. 
and my email um, I'm going to say yeah we use my garbage email address and I could say hey discourage search engines from viewing this I'm gonna say discourage for right now because I'm gonna tear this website down shortly but I'm install WordPress it's gonna take just a moment um, you would obviously want search engine visibility but again I don't want anyone to really know about this because it's just a demo site that we're using so it's gonna take a moment and then we will be good to go with our WordPress site there we go so I can click on login Oh, I did not write down that password. I didn't think I was actually going to need that just yet. Um, let me see if I can go back. There we go. Let's see if this works. And what do you know? It worked. Cool. So um, here it is. Here is my WordPress site ready to go. So for you to access your WordPress site, you always have to go to the name of your site plus add a slash WP hyphen admin. So that's how you get to the login for your site always. And it's going to ask you for your credentials. So this way you can make changes to the site. If I'm actually going to look at the site myself, I would go to this website. And there we go. We have our WordPress site up to go. It's now ready to go. It's all the default information. It's telling me, hey, I have two updates I can install here. These are just updates to the theme, the CSS styling and things like that. Um, and then to make more changes to my site, I can actually go over here to plugins. I can go to add new. And what's going to happen is I can add all of these different plugins. I use actually several of these, WP Supercache, Askimit, um, Jetpack, all fantastic things. I've actually got a large number of plugins right here on my um, live site, DaveBoyles.com. Um, so I'd, I'd encourage you to take a look at many of these, and I'll probably do a follow-up video explaining um, why I chose to use some of these as well. So again, if there's anything else I can do to help, feel free to reach out. I'm on Twitter and everything else, and my name is always Dave Boyles. Thanks for watching.